I made a huge mistake. So in the last episode, when I did the dart monkey testing, I didn't know there was this thing called a test balloon. So I did end up changing the numbers and I edited them. And again, I'm going to leave this for access for everyone in the description when it's completed. It's not completed just yet. But yeah, so <laughs> here are the numbers for the dart monkeys. You're going to see them on the top. And then now I'm going to do the boomerang. So let's jump right into it. So boomerang 000 will do. And we're doing this at 100 balloons. A test balloons. See these guys? They're unpoppable. Oh, sorry, I realized. Yep, so we're doing this with the test balloons. Look at them, they're unpoppable. Look at these. So a 000 does 140 damage. Moving into the 100 at 280. Good job. Let's go into the 200. Let's reset. Let's go. Come on, buddy. I feel like this one is more fair because when I was doing the boomerang monkey, I realized that there are anti-Moab abilities and it wasn't really fair sending out Moabs. So yeah, we're doing this now. 451. Good for you, buddy. Into the Glaive Ricochet, we got 1,954. Into more Glaives, let's see how many you do. Just look at that insanity. 6,121. And then finally, Glaive Lord, this one's going to be interesting. So this was the one reason I kind of started looking into it, because he just decimated the Moab. Whereas this is more reasonable, because that was just, he just destroyed everything. And 74k768, okay. So let's take a quick look at how the numbers are looking. He's really worth it when you upgrade him. Like, he does two damage per coin you spend when it comes into the Glaive Lord. Interesting. Okay, let's keep it going into the 010s. So 010, I'm assuming in the 200 range is my guess. I could be very wrong. I wouldn't call it very, but 184. Into the faster rings, let's keep it going, buddy. Here we go, that's 248 for this guy. Into Bionic Boomerang, let's reset and send him off. Okay, 703, not bad. Actually pretty terrible, but we'll stay quiet. Now into Turbo Charge. So Turbo Charge we're going to do with the ability and without the ability. So without the ability, we're going to be looking at 704. Okay, that is pretty trash, my man. Clearly you're for the ability, so let's do it with the ability. The rules for the ability is as soon as they make the first cycle, we use it. There we go. 2880. Okay, not good, not bad. Don't know where to how to feel about this. Into Perma Charge. So reset, let's Let's go. No ability first. Okay, 19,216. Pretty trash for the amount you pay for it. And now with the ability, when it cycles, we press. Here you go. Okay, that's better. That, that's a number right there. But surprisingly, still pretty trash, I think. Okay, 33344. Nice. That is that is the number you want to see. Okay, taking a look at the numbers, um, I got to say that the top path is much more reasonable. The middle path is looking pretty useless. Even with the abilities, it's not that good when it comes to the ratio. Because, like, as a four, like, 400 zero zero is way better than a perma charge with the ability. You know, when it comes to, like, dollar per dollar kind of thing. Let's get into the bottom path real quick. Okay, here we have the little bottom path, dude. Let's go. So I'm not assuming a lot of damage because this is just long range rings. Like, if he does, like, 150, we're good. Yeah, I figured. 148. Let's go red hot. Here I'm expecting a damage, a damage jump. 296. Not as reasonable as I thought it would be, but doesn't matter. Let's go into Kylie. Come on, buddy. You can do this. There we go. Look at that damage. Now that's damage. Now we did spend 2,190 coins on this, so it's not looking good. Eh, halfway. 1286. Into Moab Press. Let's reset and send him out. No way. Well, that was utterly useless. Okay, so Moab Press, unless you're going against Moabs, is actually useless. It doesn't do anything. This, this upgrade is basically a waste of money. Unless you're going into Moab Domination, of course. So let's see Moab Domination, but not against Moabs. Okay, just keep in mind, this upgrade costs over 58k. So yeah, late game against Moabs, it makes sense, but damage-wise, it's actually pretty trash. That is crazy, 15 point, basically 15.5k, 15 so 154492. Okay, quite the disappointing chart. Yeah, so the only boomerang monkey that it actually kind of makes sense to get is Top Path. So Top Path combined with like this guy right here. So yeah, 502 is the only valid boomerang monkey when it comes to price. That is very interesting. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's it for the boomerang monkey. We're going to go monkey by monkey. So if you enjoyed it, press that like button. If you want to see all the others, make sure to subscribe as I upload them. I'm going to try to upload them fairly quickly and have a good one, guys. Bye now.